Have you ever wanted to learn how to make your own handmade flowers with ribbon? Today I'm gonna to share with you how to make these really fun, pretty flowers using a wired ribbon or a ribbon that has a string in it. So there's two different varieties of flowers and today I'm gonna to share with you how to make these ones with a scalloped edge. What you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. These are some sharp Westcott scissors. One and a half inch wide ribbon. I'm using some heathered ribbon from Ofray some beads, and a glue gun. So this project is super, super simple. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is take a length of ribbon, and you want it to be about 16 or 17 inches long, and you're gonna fold it in half. I found that this ribbon is a little bit easier to cut when it's folded in half, and then it's less cutting. And you're just gonna cut a scalloped edge along one side. So you're basically gonna be cutting off that border edge of the ribbon, while you're cutting your scalloped edge. Now there are scissors that cut scallops through fabric. You can get some of those or even use something like pinking shears if you wanted to. So discard that piece that you cut away. And then on the other side of the ribbon where the seam is, there's actually a piece of like a filament, like fishing line almost. And you're gonna pull that. So I don't know if you can kind of see that in the video, that string that's in there. Sometimes the ribbon is wired and sometimes it has this filament. So you're just gonna pull the ribbon onto itself and gather it along that string. And that's what's gonna give it this really pretty ruffled effect and make your flower not look like ribbon. It's gonna look like a flower. So you can't really tie this off. You wanna leave the strings long while you're creating your flower and you can trim those later. So I have a little circle of felt here that I'm gonna glue my flower to. I basically put some hot glue around the perimeter of the flower or around the outside of the, the um, felt circle. And then I pressed my first um, layer of flower ribbon around that circle. Then I added some more hot glue to the inside and I'm gonna just keep twirling that ribbon around and around and around until I get it all the way filled in on the middle of my flower. So you can see I put some more hot glue and I'm just gonna keep wrapping my ribbon around and around until it fills everything in. Now the closer you get to the middle, the, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get that flower all all uh, tucked in there but you can get all the ribbon tucked in and then if you do have any of the felt showing you can just take your bead and put that in there to cover that up um, and you can use multiple beads if you want so here I added a little bit more hot glue and then took that um, last little string that piece of filament and cut that off with my scissors and then I'm gonna take a bead and glue that in the middle. Also, you might have seen me in the in the video using my scissors to kind of hold the uh, ribbon into the hot glue so that I don't burn myself. So here I just took a little pearl type bead and put some hot glue on there and pressed that in the middle of my flower and there I have a really fun, roughly pretty flower and you can even add multiple beads. So on the flower on the left, I added five beads. Now this one, um, I'm gonna show you a project later in the week with that one and I, instead of cutting a scallop, I cut a zigzag edge on that flower. So two different kinds of flowers that you can make super, super easy and fast. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the subscribe button at the end and also check me out on Instagram. I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye.